Hello YouTube and welcome to my boiler room. I don't know if you noticed but today I'm wearing a suit. A tweed suit and I usually don't wear suits. For the, for the vi videos but uh, I thought I'd make uh, an exception today and uh, for two reasons the first one being uh, I wanted to yeah sort of take my hat off to the man who made the tobacco I'm smoking today and the man who sent it to me and uh, the second reason is a bit more practical it's uh, it's chilly today and I haven't uh, turned the boiler on yet because I wanted to make the video so it's, uh, it's a bit cold in here and this is a really heavy tweed suit so it'll keep me warm And the tobacco I'm smoking is uh, John's Rum Plug. It's a homemade plug. Uh, the tobacco, if I understand it correctly, uh, I don't know John. I've never met John, but. Uh, if I understand it correctly, uh, he didn't grow the tobacco himself, but he he bought the leaves and uh, and made a plug, uh, and uh, he did a good job doing so. And the suit, no, not the suit, the sender of the tobacco is uh, Dunholm. Piper and he knows John and uh, he that whole Piper mentioned the tobacco in uh, one of his videos and uh, I made a comment about it sounding interested interesting and uh, he immediately sent me some so I'm very grateful for that and uh, now I thought I'd mention the suit a bit more it's uh, it's one of my favorite suits it's a bit uh, it's a bit too much uh, with the pattern and, and the colors but uh, I, I've uh, discovered that uh, if I wear it not in an odd way but if I wear it with a cowboy hat and uh, cowboy boots I sort of uh, take the edge out of it and uh, I think I look uh, smashing in it others mightn't agree but uh, that's their their opinion my opinion is that I look smashing in it and it, it's it's a suit I bought on Etsy from a British woman living in Portugal and uh, how it ended up in Portugal I don't know since it's a uh, it's a bespoke suit made in uh, Liverpool in 1972 for a Mr. B. Jordan according to the label in uh, one of the pockets and uh, the main maker is uh, or was Dennis Newton from Liverpool the tailor. I don't know. I've never heard of him, but uh, I think he was 
the Taylor of some standing in Liverpool at that time. Because when I googled him, uh, I discovered that he made uh, the suit that uh, Liverpool FC, uh, their manager, Bill Shanky, I think his name is Shankly, wore when he got his uh, OBE from the Queen. So, yeah, that's about what I know about the, the suit and the tailor. But I, uh, yeah, I really like it and uh, I like that there's a bit of history around it. Uh, with this plug, like many others, or many others, <coughs> the others I have smoked. It's, uh, you have to work a bit to get it lit, but once it gets lit, or it gets going, it's, uh, it's a good smoke. Um, I've been worrying a bit, well not worrying, I, I've been a bit concerned or uh, about how I'm going to get hold of uh, some uh, British O to see tobaccos that I like. Like uh, Condor or Mellow Virginia and now uh, Brave or Plug since Leo sent it to me and I, I really liked it. And I've been having pr problems. Uh, I haven't been able to order from the UK because the uh, online Retailers have refused to ship to Sweden and saying there's some law forbidding them to do that. They can ship to the US but not to Sweden. And all the time the answer has been staring me in, in my face. My brother-in-law, he's uh, from Scotland. But he lives here with his wife and uh, his brother comes here a couple of times a year. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to buy the tobacco online, pay it but have them uh, ship it to him so he can take it with him when he comes to Sweden. And voila, I've got my supply of uh, British uh, tobacco. I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but uh, it just struck me yesterday. We were talking about that he was coming here. Uh, and uh, yeah, suddenly I realized that's, that's the simplest way to get hold of the tobacco. I think it. I think I got it going now. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention. Don Horn Piper when he sent the tobacco, he also sent uh, a tamper he made, and it's really neat. I don't know if you can. I can't see if you can see. But the grain is really, really nice on this. And I don't care much for grain on uh, pipes, but uh, I really liked it on, on the tamper. So thanks for the tamper as well. And. Uh, yeah, back to John's run plug. I smoked a couple of. I might. I've got a piece here, I'll show it to you as well. And maybe with the same bad result as with the tamper. I don't know what uh, to 
tobaccos go into it. But it seems to be a mixture of uh, both light and dark leaves. Some look almost whitish as well. And uh, yeah, it's a nice tobacco. It's uh, got a nice, strong, I don't know what I would call a pure. Sorry, there goes the temper. Pure tobacco taste. But you could also taste the rum that he, he used as casing or topping or whatever. And uh, the rum taste is uh, therefore half the bowl, maybe a bit more. But after that, it's uh, mostly just nice, strong tobacco taste. And uh, it also packs uh, a bit of a punch. The, the, I think it's quite strong on nicotine. At least it's been going to my head when I've, I've been smoking it. Not in a way that it is unpleasant, but uh, I've gotten a bigger nicotine hit from this than I usually get when I smoke my pipe. And as I said, uh, once it gets going, it burns well. And uh, the smoke, I, I, I like uh, the smoke to feel like it has a lot of volume when I get it uh, into my mouth. And that, that's the only complaint I have, the smoke. Both the volume, it's, it feels a bit thin and uh, I would also like it to be thicker, more cloudy. I don't know why I want a lot of clouds when I smoke my pipe, but uh, it sort of fascinates me for some reason, I don't know. But uh, it's a great tobacco. And uh, John, if you're watching this, uh, and if you're <laughs> willing to sell some to me or send some to me, I, I, I'd uh, be really interested in getting it because it's uh, we've done a hell of a job making the tobacco, and uh, maybe we could swap. I don't know. If you're interested, send me a PM. Because I'd really get like to get a hold of some more. And uh, to Dunhall Piper, I'm really grateful that you sent it to me. Like that. And uh, I'm also grateful for the pipe. Pipe tamper. I'm trying to keep this short, I don't know how long I've been talking, but uh, I'll uh, stop here and uh, wish you a nice weekend. If I'm able to upload this this weekend due to the internet problems I have, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching, take care and I uh, hope to see you soon again. Bye.